Right, Paul, thank you. People across the tri-state, of course, scrambling to get to stores to buy everything from salt and shovels to milk and eggs. And if you were one of them, you probably found those essentials are in short supply. Our Brad Underwood is live in downtown with a look at a run on the stores and how the stores actually tried to keep up. What a busy weekend for them, Brad. It certainly was, Dwayne, a very big weekend for grocery stores and hardware stores, many hoping they'll be able to replenish uh, the stock here either tomorrow or Tuesday if the trucks can even get here. But, you know, this weekend, a lot of panic buying and a lot of stocking up on supplies as people are either planning on staying inside, hunkering down for a couple of days or trying to dig themselves out. What a weekend for grocery store workers. No matter the size of the store, lines are full and many shelves are empty. We've had a couple of extra deliveries to be able to keep up on some of our milk and bread and our produce that people buy a lot of. And we're just kind of hanging in there. At the Clifton Market, office manager Alice Collins says there was a line when the store opened at 8 a.m. It's been pretty busy. The fact that we're going to have a massive snowstorm coming up here and Valentine's Day weekend. So it's been busier than usual. Yeah, we've been to the grocery, I've been to the grocery stores. I've been to three now. <laughs> <laughs> and so I guess this is number four. So um, uh, most of them are packed, packed to the rafters with people. It's, it's really hard to find a car. Outside Woods Hardware downtown, only a few pinches of salt remain on the sidewalk. The shelves inside are a little bare too when it comes to snowstorm supplies. If you call, we give you the four S's with no's. No sleds, no shovels, no snow blowers, and of course no salt. <laughs> we hope it was a better Valentine's Day, that's all we can say. It's like that everywhere. Even the big box stores, they're sold out. At the salt pile, though, no shortage there. Crews in the city and on the highway are ready around the tri-state. As that rate of accumulation picks up and we see a lot of snow coming down, it'll just be putting the plows down and uh, pushing snow off and trying to keep things, keep things passable. The big message from transportation departments, give them some time and stay home if you can. It does take two to three hours um, for our crews to complete a full route. Um, so, you know, when we have snowfall rates of an inch an hour, um, you know, a plow truck may come through, but by the time they're back to that same location, you know, we could have an inch or more of snow back on that same roadway. Indiana, Ohio, they say they are ready. In Kentucky, the transportation cabinet says it is ready as well. Now, depending on what municipality you live in, there could be a snow emergency that has already been issued. Several in northern Kentucky took effect around 6, 7 o'clock this evening. In Villa Hills, the police department says you need to get your car off the street. We're going to start writing citations. And if that doesn't work, by the time it starts snowing, they're going to be towing, they tell us tonight. Now, Covington also issuing a state uh, of emergency. They don't plan on writing tickets, just asking you nicely, please move your car. Reporting live tonight in downtown, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Dwayne. Brad, thank you. Good idea no matter where you are. We'll have the very latest on the snowstorm, live reports on the road conditions on Good Morning Cincinnati, extended coverage on both tomorrow and Tuesday. It'll begin at 4 a.m. Tara Blake, Jen Dalton, our entire team hitting the roads to help keep you safe.